My first tip when using the public transport system in Vienna is don't forget to buy your ticket. That might sound like a no-brainer, but Vienna uses an open system when it comes to public transport. That means that there are no barriers before boarding the tram, bus or subway. So you could board without a ticket, even though you need one. And if you get caught without having a ticket, you will get fined with 105 euros. And since you cannot buy your ticket on the bus or the subway, you need to buy it in advance. So let me show you how this works. Hi, I'm Grete, I'm a certified tour guide and I make videos for people visiting my favorite city, Vienna. And in this video, I will show you everything you need to know about the public transport system in Vienna. Also, if you plan to visit Vienna, you might want to visit my website gretewalz.com on which you can either book a tour with me or purchase my audio guide which helps you to explore Vienna city center. Tip number two, how to buy a ticket. There are several ways of how to buy a ticket, but one of the easiest ones is just using a ticket automat in one of the subway stations. The language can be set to English. Then you simply need to select the ticket that you want. In my case, I chose a single ticket full fare. There are also other ticket options available, which I will explain a little bit later. After selecting the ticket, you have to choose whether you want to use it immediately or validate it later. I opted to validate it later and I will show you how to do that in a moment. Finally, you just need to pay, which can be done either using credit card or cash. In addition to purchasing the ticket at the automat in the subway station, you can also use one in the tram. However, please note that the single fare is slightly more expensive there. Alternatively, you can also purchase your ticket online in the Wiener Linien shop or in the Wienmobil app, which is actually my preferred way to do it. By the way, I also made a video about the Wienmobil app because I think it's one of the most useful apps to have on your phone when you're visiting Vienna. And if you want to watch it, I'll link the video in the description box below and here or here. <laughs> If buying your ticket online or at one of the vending machines isn't your thing, you can also purchase tickets for the public transport system in Vienna at one of the tobacco shops. They are marked with this sign. Or you can go to one of the ticket and information center of Wiener Linien. Wiener Linien is the company that operates the public transport system in Vienna and they have ticket and information centers at the bigger subway stations in Vienna. If you want to know more about that, please go to the blog on my website gretewalz.com where I linked the list to the current ticket and information offices of the Wiener Linien. Tip number three, don't forget to validate your ticket. After buying your ticket, you have to validate it at one of these machines. You will find these machines on the bus and on the tram, but if you want to use the subway, you need to validate your ticket before boarding the train. This is very important since some tickets are only valid once you stamp them at the validating machine. This means even if you bought a ticket but didn't validate it and get caught by a ticket inspector, you will have to pay a fine. Unfortunately, this happens quite often for people visiting Vienna for the first time, so make sure that you avoid this mistake. By the way, if you bought your ticket in the webshop or the Vmobil app, you just show it on your mobile phone and there is no need to validate it anymore. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you! <laughs> Tip number four, ticket prices or how to select the best ticket for you. When you buy a ticket, the most important thing to consider is how many days do you want to use the public transport system. The distance of your trip doesn't matter as long as you stay within the border of the city of Vienna. If you buy a ticket, it will be valid for the bus, tram, subway and the trains that run within the city center. Now let's have a look at the different ticket options for Vienna. If you are in Vienna for one day, the most relevant tickets are the single fare for 2 euro 40, the day ticket and the 24 hour travel card. The day ticket can only be bought online and it is valid from the time you bought it until 1 am the following day. The 24 hour ticket is valid for 24 hours, starting from the time you validated it or if you bought it online for the time that you selected. If you are in Vienna for a couple of days, you might want to buy a travel pass for 48 or 72 hours. They are also valid from the moment you validated them or if you buy them online for the time that you selected. 
And if you are in Vienna for one week, you might want to buy a weekly pass for 17 euro 10. However, this ticket is always valid from Monday to Monday, even if you bought it on a Friday, for example. If you want to be more flexible, you should buy the 7 days Vienna ticket where you can select the time it should be valid for. But this ticket is an online only ticket and it can only be purchased in the webshop of Wiener Linien or the Wien Mobile app. And last but not least, the 8 day climate ticket might also be interesting for you. It costs 40 euro 80 and is valid for 8 but not necessarily consecutive days. And it can be used by several people traveling. Just punch one strip per day and person traveling. Of course, there are many more ticket options, but in this video, I wanted to focus on those that are most relevant when you're visiting Vienna for a couple of days or maybe up to a week. If you want to know more, please go to the blog on my website, gretewalz.com, where I compiled more information about the different ticket options in Vienna for you. Tip number five check for discounts. If you're traveling with children, you might be happy to hear that children under the age of 6 travel for free in Vienna. And children under the age of 15 also travel for free during the school holidays in Vienna. Now, you might be wondering, when are the school holidays in Vienna? And to help you with that, I also included this information on my blog on my website gretewalz.com. Outside of the school holidays, children between 6 and 15 also need a valid ticket for the public transport. But you can purchase the single fare to the reduced price for 1 euro 20. And there is another discount, this time for senior travelers. If you are over the age of 65, you can get a single fare for 1 euro and 50 cents. Tip number 6. Check the working hours and the rush hour. Usually during the day, you don't have to wait longer than a couple of minutes for a bus, tram or subway to arrive. That's the good news. The not so good news <laughs> is that during the night, that means starting from around midnight until approximately 5 a.m., the service is reduced to a minimum. That means that during that time, only the buses of the Vienna nightlines are available. With one exception, the subway trains actually do operate, but only during the weekend, which means in the nights from Friday to Saturday and from Saturday to Sunday, but with longer intervals. And another thing to know is that the rush hour in Vienna starts in the morning around 7.30 and goes until 9 o'clock. And in the evening it starts around, well, 4.30 and it goes until approximately 7 o'clock. If you are more flexible, I would recommend to avoid these times since it can get pretty crowded in the buses, trams and subway trains. Tip number seven, do's and don'ts when using the public transport. First thing to know is when using an escalator, please only stand on the right side, since it is common practice to stand right and walk left. Another thing not to do is to eat on a subway train. It is actually forbidden to eat on subway trains, but of course it is still okay to drink non-alcoholic beverages or to give a little snack to your kid if it's hungry. Another thing not to do is blocking the doors. Please wait for the other passengers to get off the bus, tram or subway before boarding yourself as it will make the process faster for everyone. Another don't is blocking the reserved seats. These seats are for elderly or handicapped people, pregnant women or parents with young kids. Although you can use these seats, you are expected to offer it to those who need it more. And finally something you should do, and that is letting the bus and tram driver know that you want to exit. You simply do that by pushing one of these buttons or the button on the door when you are approaching the stop on which you want to exit. Tip number eight, use the Wien Mobile app. I like using the Wien Mobile app because it has really everything you need for getting around in Vienna. You can check the timetables, you can check your connection, buy your ticket and you can also see when something is out of service. Also, the app suggests alternatives like the Wien Mobile bikes, which are a fun and budget-friendly way to explore Vienna. If you want to learn more about that, please watch this video about the Wien Mobile bikes 
or this video about the Wienmobil app. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips about Vienna. Thank you and goodbye.